It's episode three of Easter Exploration. Hello, I'm Mike from High Hopes. We're specialists in providing resources for primary schools in faith and festivals, and we've gone online to give it all to you at home. Today is episode three of eight. You can keep up to date with all of them by finding us on Facebook and liking that page or subscribing on YouTube. Here's what we're going to get up to today. We've got our story from Pip. We're going to have some thinky bits, some wonder time, and then of course we're going to have our amazing experiment. Try and work out the best way to cook a chocolate egg. Today is Holy Tuesday. To be perfectly honest with you, we don't really know a lot about what happened on Tuesday. But a lot of stuff happens towards the weekend. So what we're going to do is pretend like it's Thursday and fast forward to the events of then. <laughs> Hello, it's Pretend Thursday. We're going to go over to Pip in a minute to listen to our story. So make sure you've got your learning progress chart with you so you can spot the things that you've already written down. This story is called The Last Supper. Jesus sat down with his friends to have a special meal. It was the Passover meal, which they had to remember being rescued from Egypt. Jesus knew it was the last time he was going to have dinner with his friends, and he poured some water into a bowl and started to wash their feet. His friends were so confused. This was the job of a servant, not someone special and powerful. Jesus reminded them that he loved them so much that he would wash their dirty, stinky feet. He told them that they should show people that they loved them by serving them too. Jesus washed his hands and went back to the table. He said, it is time for our special last meal together. Jesus took some bread, said thank you to God and broke it. He told his disciples, take some of this bread and eat it. Every time you eat bread, I want you to remember me. Then he took a cup of wine and said thank you to God again. He told his disciples, drink some wine and every time you drink wine, I want you to remember me. Jesus wanted his friends to remember that he had to die to make sure that their hearts were only full of goodness. Did you hear what Pip called the Last Supper? She called it Passover. Passover is a very special festival and has been celebrated for thousands of years. It's a meal where you eat special food to remember special things. We're going to learn more about that tomorrow. But for now, I've got a couple of questions for you. During the meal, Jesus took two kinds of food. Can you remember what kind of food they were? One of them was for eating. And Jesus said, remember my broken body every time you eat this. The other one was a liquid, a drink. And he said, remember me being hurt every time you drink this? Yes, the answers are bread and wine. And Christians today still eat and drink bread and wine and remember Jesus and what's about to happen in the Easter story. How would you feel if you were there in that room and Jesus said these things? What would you think? So Jesus picked bread and wine to represent him. What kind of food would you choose to represent you? Have a think about it and maybe see if you can try and eat and drink it later on in the week. I wonder, how do you show someone that you love them? Maybe you send them cards or give them hugs and kisses. Maybe you tried my challenge from Palm Sunday to celebrate and clap and cheer them in the room. Jesus showed love to everyone in lots of ways. But today, his last day, he decided to show love by serving them, by washing their feet. In those days, people did not wear shoes. They wore open sandals. 
and their feet got dirty. Disgustingly dirty. It wasn't just dust on those roads. Animals and all sorts used them, and they had not invented the poop scoop. Their feet were really foul. That didn't stop Jesus. A few days ago, everyone had praised him like a king. But washing his friend's feet was his way of saying, no, you're awesome. I've got a challenge for you. Could you love the others in your home by serving them? Perhaps by washing their wellies? Mine are disgusting. Maybe washing their car? Mine's disgusting as well. Perhaps you could help wipe the windows or dust around the corners. Can you think of a way of saying, I love you, without saying, I love you? I hope everybody enjoys you serving them at home. We're going to go over to our big experiment today and see if Emma can serve us up a delicious chocolate egg. We are going to learn how to scramble a cream egg. You're going to, oh dear, pop it in there. Although these aren't breaking for me very well. Now, actually, with this one, you're going to want to scoop out the middle. Then you get a splash of milk, not lots, just a little bit. That will Actually, that was probably too much, but that'll do. And now we're just gonna whisk that all together with the fork. Okay, so we come back over to our pan, and what we're gonna do is we're going to pour this. Perfect. And you're gonna keep mixing it. And it should begin to form some lumps. Okay, so we've just turned off the heat and we're going to keep mixing it because it's still hot, so it's going to keep cooking for a bit. So, that didn't really work. It didn't scramble, so it just kind of melted. That's everything today. Come back tomorrow for more fantastic adventures in Easter week. Don't forget, find us on Facebook and like that page or on YouTube and subscribe. Then you can keep up to date with everything. See you tomorrow. Mummy's gonna love this. Mummy's gonna love this.